Hello and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinager and I'm playing some Xenosaga episode 3. Let me know in the comments, by the way, because I've changed the setup a little bit. Um, instead of having my highlight behind the webcam, it's now on the side over here. So it's hitting me on this side of the face. It's because I kept getting such bad headaches and migraines every time I looked up at the webcam to react to you guys. Because it was directly behind it. So let me know if it looks alright. Um, hopefully it'll help me record better and be able to record more often so I'm not missing days. That was one of the primary reasons why I'll be missing days, by the way. Um, because one recording was giving me my brain. So, hopefully things work better. Hi bro, can we talk about this? <laughs> and by talk about this, I mean... Oh, I ran out of EP for Junior. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted to do something fun. It's okay, I still have Momo. Little, little Momo. Bonk! And of course, Cosmos doesn't have much. Some balls. Okay. And also, this makes it so much easier because every time I would look up at the webcam to say hi, I would get direct ring light LEDs directly into my face, and my god, you do not know pain until you've had an LED-induced migraine. Anyway, let's just murder these guys with extreme prejudice. Only the most extreme of prejudice. Bonk. <laughs> Overkill! <laughs> Rude. Can't remember if I'm going even going the right way. I mean, I hope. That dead person has their mouth wide open, they're like... Emergency alert. Fires have Shut up, Shelly! Oh, this is great for my eyeballs. The monsters, help me hurry! They're gonna get me! Okay. I help. I help, mayhaps. What could be down here? More bullshit, obviously. Uh, leave me alone, please? Bruh. You can step over that, Cosmos. What the fuck are you doing, bruh? Oh, fuck. Uh, hi? Bye! <laughs> okay, let's go save this numbskull. I help everyone. Do you, Momo? Do you? Oh, shit. I'm about to die. I wasn't paying attention. Um... <laughs> Bye! <laughs> this is what happens when you don't pay attention to how much life you have after a fight. Let's just, uh... Fix that. By draining all of Xion's EP. Yes! I win. <laughs> the monsters help me! Please use the foot switch to operate the door. Oh god damn it. So foot switch and entering and operating the room. Uh oh. That took me a minute. <laughs> Why hasn't that guy killed him yet? <laughs> Bruh, you should have murdered that man. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. Oh, it's always fun to watch uh, Cosmos using the G-Shot attack, because it's just like massive cannon Gatling gun out of nowhere. And then everything around her dies. What's up, bruh? Thank you, I've been in big trouble if you come in any closer. Wait, what? Please take this. Okay, EP upgrade. This place is gonna be filled with Berserk Reallian soon. Maybe you should go too, bruh. The fuck did you just give me? Increase maximum- ooh! I'm gonna give that... to Cosmos. Cause she kinda needs it. Oh, cool! I need that. 
if I found that segment or segment <laughs> segment address yet. What's up, bruh? How you be? I also did not heal again. I'm good at this game, I swear. Hi, dude. How you doing? Uh. Hi, bruh. Is there a fire suppression system anywhere? What's going on? A railings became berserk when the descent operation started. They all started saying they'd heard a song, but I couldn't hear anything. Okay, why are you just standing in the fire, bruh? <laughs> Activating sprinkler. Okay. I owe you one. Maybe a combo railing, but still protein based human beings. If we catch fire, we're pretty much jump for in a short amount of time. Then why were you just standing there? What happens if I go near this one? The song. I can hear the song. That song is. It's. T okay, bye! I'm not talking to him again or he might fight me. <laughs> I feel like he might fight me. Oh! I didn't do it. Oh, please tell me I'm gonna have a safe put before I get to, uh, a certain room. <laughs> Cause I kinda need one! Is this the result you wanted, Sellers? Maybe you should listen to Joachim, bruh. What are you doing here, old man? Don't tell me you came here to stop this now. Lemageta, the words of God, must not be recited. It isn't what we believed it was. But it can activate the Zohar. The analysis of the Zohar is incomplete. This is gonna end must poorly! Why it exists in this universe, or there will be no future for us. Surely even you know what will happen if you use it now in its incomplete state. Heinlein doesn't care. It doesn't matter what happens to this planet, as long as we obtain the data. Yeah, okay, whatever. Or are you going to lecture to me? You, who created this system? <sighs> can no longer be stopped. It has all begun. This is a bad idea. <laughs> now remember, up until this point, people who've played the game assume <laughs> that Mizrahi and Sellers and Yutik and all of them were the ones that summoned the Gnosis into their universe, into our universe. And that was supposed to have happened at Milsha here. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Shia. Honey. How did she get there first? The series Osara. Shion. Shion. Just hurry up. Daddy, what are you doing? Why would he close the door there? Can he lock it from the inside? Jen. Jen. Damn it. He's not the spot. Hi. No, seriously, couldn't you lock the door from the inside? Bruh. Message, please come back at once. Save Shion. Hurry, there's not much time. Please! You've got to hurry! Jin! Ah! Well, rip Suo! <laughs> Hi, Suo. Don't make any noise, dumbass. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! And that's how I ended up again. Because we do see the, the flashback of the room. And I think the first game. And he was against the wall there. And this is how Mommy dies! Well, now they know she's there. Bye, Mom. It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fucked up. Hey, guys, how you doing? Better just finally gone and started it. 
And we're using Osiris. They're both mad! Okay. Yes! Save point! Excellent. Because I need that because I want my EP back. <laughs> so I can do all the cool attacks and murder things. I can't remember if it was the third floor or the fourth floor. Oh, fuck! <laughs> that actually made me jump. Um. Hi, bruh. Hold on, I need to go this way. Oh, bullshit! I don't got time for this. Oh shit. God damn it! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what, bro? You know what, bro, Sev? I don't got. Oh, fuck, I can't escape! <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Hi, puppy! Can we talk about this? What if. And God damn it! <laughs> I don't want to deal with you. I have to go save Shion, okay? Bye. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Bruh! Bruh! <laughs> damn it! Let me go! <laughs> well, this is not gonna work. Ah, God damn it! Let me out! <laughs> Fucking game, man. It's fucking game. Thank you. Ah, eh, good enough. Actually, there we go. <laughs> Dead people. Uh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can break this now. <laughs> God damn it! This is why I can't have nice things. Fuck sake. I'm just trying to find Shion! <laughs> swear to God! It's all I want! Let me go! Bye! Since I can't use... Oh, I've already been through here, okay. Federation want with this room. They even ignore the console over there. I'm just gonna test over you from the Dabre mine. Oh! <gasps> oh, right! That's, um, 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 uh, the, 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 Teth... Yeah, yeah, Tethlamagus. Should a possible test subject reality for connection experiment in the disturbance? Dabre mine immediately sent to this facility. Public rescue state that he had been killed and... So they experimented on him. Oh! Oh! You might not to say it might be not a good idea to tell her. Nah. Should we though? Probably. I'd still want to know, even if. Oh. Hi, bruh. Oh, god damn it! Fine. Oh, this can only end well. Hi guys, how you doing? Where's again? One thing you point out is because he's like, where is everyone? <laughs> they only put the models on screen if they're actually interacting with the cutscene. Obviously. No. Cosmos, can you detect Shion? I detect life signs inside the room. One matches those of Xi'an. Then we need to go now addition, and stop talking. There are three realians of an unidentified type. The as the Asura. Yep, time to go, bruh! Again, where's everybody else? <laughs> They're just not in the cutscene because I didn't want to render the character model. <laughs> Literally, that's it. Where are you? Xion? Bruh. Heh, <laughs> no blood! <gasps> dead mom. Dead dad. Uh, bruh? <laughs> bruh? Well then. Oh, right. These guys hit like a truck, I forgot. <laughs> you can actually, if I remember correctly, you can actually fight one in, you can fight one in the first game because you find it in the Song of Nephilim Dungeon. And it's like, 
outside area is like an optional encounter. Oh good, they're all weak to beam. You know what that means? Beam the fuck out of them. No. Potentially dead? There we go, he's dead. Excellent. All three also are killed. Now everything is gonna be completely fine in the next cutscene, right? Nothing's gonna go horrifically wrong in the next cutscene, right? Well, it's pre-rendered, so <laughs> a little bit more jaggy. Now they're both going nuts. Or else, mommy's gonna go away. Put it back. Someone, please put it back. Shion. This is gonna end well. No, no this isn't true. No! See this. This plot twist, this plot twist, I did not see coming when I first played this game. I totally called Kevin being alive, but this, this I did not call. <laughs> Cause it comes out of left field. Yeah, Mizrahi did not summon the Gnosis. Shion summoned the Gnosis. <laughs> oh, fuck. What is going on? Yep. Shion has a genetic connection. To Udu and she summoned the Gnosis. The entire like Gnosis phenomenon that's slowly taking star system from star system and killing everything, like all the things. Yeah, she undid it. <laughs> well, this can't. Baby, she undid it. Chief, she, you've got to stay calm. Don't let it overpower you. Jin, what is going on? It's a. This is a dream, right? I called... I called the Gnosis. I made them appear, didn't I? This is... some kind of terrible mistake, right? I did not call this plot twist. Oh my god, this shocked the shit out of me when I was a kid. Please! Someone tell me what's going on! Goes to Ziggy for some reason? Yep, and then it causes her powers to activate again. Because she has a connection to Udu just like her mom did. Obviously, that's why she keeps passing out. And it's exactly what all of the bad guys wanted to happen. Because they wanted her to bring this monstrosity into the real world. <laughs> yep. That was the entire point of them sending everybody into this fake past. To cause this to happen. Yep. 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 What the hell is going on? That didn't happen 15 years ago. What we're seeing is not the past. BAM! <laughs> Finally, Jin. A reality that didn't exist. Ebel's Ark. That thing that appeared at Milsha a year ago? But why appear here now? That's why they brought Shion here. This world isn't the world of the past. See, now they're finally, now it's finally clicking it's in their heads. reality constructed inside of Xion's mind. Yep, they're in a weird sort of encephalon thing. They're not inside an actual encephalon, because an actual encephalon doesn't put you in the actual past. This one's not the actual past, but it's a construct within Xion's mind. By temporarily restoring the consciousness of people from the past. Yep. They're using Xion to correct in the present what they were unable to accomplish in the past. Yep. Yep. But it also revealed the truth to Xion that she is the one that summoned the Gnosis. Oh, hey, look, it's in game rendered again. <laughs> yes. Everything was supposed to begin here. But in order to awaken Abel, the resonance of the power between them was necessary. The Gnosis that attacked Milsha in the past did not arrive because of Mizrahi 
nor Albedo's link to Udu. Yep. No. They were called by Xion when she was a child. God damn it, Kevin! <laughs> You're the worst. <sighs> Hi, Kevin. Ke Kevin? God damn it, Kevin. God Kevin? damn it, Kevin. <laughs> We're the literal worst. You deserve Shion. <laughs> Wait, you mean the guy who designed Cosmos? It's sort of. Yes, but why? He was Shion's boyfriend? But that's a testament. Referring to Kevin as that. <laughs> Kevin, is it really you? Yes, it's me. What's wrong? Have you forgotten my face? No, I haven't forgotten. I've never once forgotten. But why are you... I've come for you, Xi'an. Yeah, don't go with him. Don't believe him. He... Don't! Kevin, Fucking hell, Xi'an. Why did you hide yourself all this time? Why are you a testament? I needed power. That is why I took this form. But what I look like is not important. It's still me. Nothing has changed. No, I'm pretty sure everything has changed, especially because uh, you're an evil asshole. But the Kevin in this time, he sacrificed all those people, all those realians to research the Zohar, even my mother. I had no choice. I'm sorry I made you suffer. No, you always have a choice. You but you gaslighting must understand dumb fuck. that it was all done for you. Bullshit! You weren't even in love with her in the past. <laughs> for me? This? Are you saying all of this was for me? You see, he's completely gaslighting her right now because he wasn't even in love with her at this point. <laughs> it was all for you. I was always thinking about you. And again, entirely not true, especially because we saw those cutscenes between um, baby Kevin and Suo. Like, totally gaslighting her right now. <laughs> Come with me. I need you, Xion. Kevin. Who the hell do you think you are? You've got damn no Junior. Right to come here and open up her wounds. Goddamn right, Junior. And you're saying it's all for her benefit? Silence. This is none of your concern. It sure as hell is my concern. Don't you understand? None of you can save Shia. What do you mean? I hope you can explain yourself. Jean Uzuki. Hi. <laughs> I'm sure you've already realized what's happening to Shion's body. <gasps> That's right. She's suffering from the same illness as her mother. <gasps> she Obviously! You have an ability that others lack. But that power will eventually cost you your life. That's the reason for your recent headaches. I have the same illness as mom? I mean, obviously. You figured that would have dawned on her at this point. <laughs> if you know that much, then naturally you must know the cause as well. While differing somewhat in the strength of their power, the test subjects assembled in this facility all possess the same ability as Xion. Yep, just like her mama. The subjects are capable of communicating with Udu. They can convey their will to Udu. Communicating with Udu? Yes, but that leads to their own death. The test subjects' wills are unable to stand the stress of direct contact with Udu, and they eventually fall into a coma and die. Like her mama, who is in a coma, and co again, her, her, their bodies are right there. The like, is this really the place to be talking? Because you have two dead bodies in the room. And a traumatized little girl. Wouldn't their illness stop? You don't have to force them to talk with Udu. You can't. Huh? You can't cut off contact with Udu. He's watching us from another realm. You can't mm -hmm. run away from him. Yep. Udu chooses to make contact? Are you saying those waves have a will? Yeah, it's God. It's literally God. See, Shia, like, that's the point. <laughs> I became a testament to save you. Again, patently and blatantly untrue, Kevin. <laughs> without this form, without this power, I can't save you. The only ones that can save you are me and Telos. Telos? Telos is gonna save the chief? Wait a minute. Then what the hell is Cosmos? You designed her too! Exactly. Cosmos is just a prototype built to collect data for Telos and to monitor Xion. 
Cosmos is a prototype? Is that why you tried to dispose of her? Yes. Cosmos grew too close to Xi'an. The source of Cosmos's power comes from Udu by using the Zohar as a door. Dun, dun, dun. Every time Cosmos uses her abilities, Xi'an, who reacts to Udu, loses her life force. Yep, Cosmos is killing Xi'an. <laughs> the closer Xi'an and Cosmos's wills come together, the greater the stress on Xi'an. Well, Cosmos well. is shortening Chief's lifespan? You mean... Cosmos is going to kill me? Xi'an, I want you to come with me. If things progress as they have been, then you'll have no future. This is the only way to save you. No, it's not. Please listen, Xi'an. I don't want... I don't want to lose you again. Kevin. God, you I... gaslighting motherfucker. I understand. It's all right. I'm right here with you. Oh, Kevin. I'm happy. I'm so happy to see you again. I missed you so much. I thought that I'd never see you again. And yet, Guess I'm not the fucker. here you are. So I... 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 I promise you that... I'll never leave you again. We'll always be together. Kevin! Nope! <laughs> Jin, what are you doing? I don't understand. Xi'an, I apologize, but I cannot allow you to leave here with him. Yep. What Time for a boss fight! Right now may seem plausible enough. However, I don't believe it. I don't believe that he can be trusted. Obviously he can't. Oh, hi, Telos. <laughs> what are you saying, Jin? You've got to stop it. This is Kevin. He's the man I loved from the bottom of my heart. No, he isn't. He's not the same anymore. Damn straight. He's no longer a human. No. You're wrong. No, Jin's but right. <laughs> Little mother, that fucking smirk on his face. Tell me why. Why are you all interfering? Shion, get back. Cosmos, take Shion and run away. Cosmos, don't do it. Come to me. Bring Shion here. Cosmos is like, uh, the creator. Uh, uh, no, uh, what do, do I do? It. Cosmos! <laughs> Kevin Winnicott, I am very sorry. But unfortunately, I am not programmed to follow your orders. <laughs> Are you trying to defy your creator? Yes, she is, because she no longer has to follow her, the his orders. The cosmos that was created by you has been destroyed by Telos, sir. I have different designers, Shian Uzuki, and also Mr. Alan Ridgely. So she has, he, she has to listen to Alan. So, yep. Shian, we will leave now. No, Cosmo, stop! I don't want to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, knocked her out. <laughs> I must apologize. Action was needed to avoid danger. Just knocked her out and yeets her out a window. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, because of the changes made by the professor and um, by the professor and Scott, and the fact that the current Cosmos was rebuilt by Alan and Shion. She's actually no longer has to do anything Cosmos. Kevin tells her. You think you can run? Yes. Yes, I do. Ah, fuck. <laughs> go, Cosmos, go! Oh, tell us. Oh, tell us. You are, uh... Oh, hey! It's Asher! Yeah, or oh, whatever, Telos. You've done that before. Stop, Telos. There's no need to chase them. We'll have plenty of opportunities. Return now. Well. Yeah, that means they're not gonna have Cosmos or Shion for this fight. I mean, if there is- I don't actually know if there is a fight here against Kevin and Telos, but if yeah, there is, I'm not gonna have Cosmos, Cosmos or Shion, which- She's headed fuck. this way on the bike! 
Are they alone? Stop the ship. We'll pick them up. There's Jen's. Sh there's Jen's ship, Captain, so you should show you how close I'm he Jen is. Ship. Please maintain your current position. Don't do anything crazy. This ship is delicate. Scratch it, and you're gonna pay for it. I will do my best. <laughs> It's Cosmos. What do you think's gonna happen, bruh? A perfect landing, that's what! Now on board. Captain, all of the others are still currently inside of Labyrinthos. Don't worry. Tony, can you handle it? Who do you think you're talking to? This is gonna be a piece of cake! Oh, I love- I love the crew of the Elsa. They're so wholesome. <laughs> Even though Matthews is constantly beating on poor, um, on his poor- his poor teammates. Oh, this is gonna end well. I need- I need a place to save it! Put me in a fight or something! Don't be stupid. If you do that, we may lose control of the Zohar. I know, but this is the only way to stop this phenomenon. I must save the universe, even if it means destroying yeah. this Yeah, so everybody assumed that Mizrahi is the one who unleashed the Gnosis and got everybody killed. No, he's actually the one that saved the Gnosis phenomenon from expanding faster. Are you crazy? Stop! You and the others are the ones who don't realize what you're doing. That thing is beyond human control. Are you upset because you failed to revive your daughter? Failed. Rude. It's true that I was unable to bring my daughter back to life, but a new potential was born. For that, I will. Stop! Mizrahi! <laughs> so that explains why Sellers is in a um, wheelchair. But the way he was holding the gun, the gun was like glitched into his hand. <laughs> Watch closely. This is how I take my responsibility. This is gonna end well. God damn it, I've been recording for 45 minutes. <laughs> Give me a place where I can cut the video, damn it. Yay, more in game cutscenes. Momo, I made a conscious decision to sacrifice this planet and its inhabitants to you. My sins will certainly never be forgiven. But if it means you will be born into a peaceful world, then so be it. I will gladly throw myself. That's a lot of cathedral ships. Of hell. That is a lot of cathedral ships. Hallelujah! And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. And death and hell. We've seen this cutscene in the first game, I think. The lake of fire. And with it came about the second death. And whosoever not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of eternal fire. Well. Sakura, I doubt I will go where you are. You will probably admonish me for that which I have done. Hmm? Who's there? Yeet! <laughs> Yuli. I'm sorry. Please take care of Momo. It takes a good 15 years to, uh, to, uh, actually do that. <laughs> God damn it! Give me a place to save! <laughs> Ah, oh, there goes the song of Nephilim going. Well, gotta get out of here now! This isn't good. The whole facility is about to collapse. Yes, you're right. Let's get out of here. What about Xion? Kevin just peaced out. <laughs> I totally thought I was totally expecting a boss fight there, but nope, Kevin just peaced the fuck out. See? See? Jin saves baby Xion. Like, Jin, sh Jin should have fucking known that that was gonna happen. He should have known. So they should have been that worried about past Xion. Should not have been that worried about her. Because Jin should have known that he's the one who saves her.
This is probably a chapter end, I assume. If I remember correctly. Oh shit! It's the Song of Nephilim! And the entire planet's going bye-bye. Due to the actions of Mizrahi. So yeah, Mizrahi is the one who actually saved the universe from the Gnosis phenomenon that was expanding on Milsha. And then they had to, you know, go back to Milsha and, you know, unleash some shit they shouldn't have unleashed. God damn it, Wilhelm. It appears that the first awakening has gone smoothly. Great. Yes. The remaining vessels of Anima will follow shortly. The vessels of Anima are the body of God, divided by the saint in ancient times to protect the universe from dissipation. Again, not entirely true, but close. <laughs> we cannot allow the universe's failsafe to become active. Chaos! We must control what? the body of God with our own hands. I understand. We shall return everything to the moment of beginning. I... <laughs> the game? So, finally, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanger, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.